Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, we've all heard that fiber is good for us, but two studies in 2022 have highlighted the importance of consistently getting a desirable amount of fiber each day from food and or supplements. Now, essentially, these two studies show that adding more fiber to the diet of people who typically eat insufficient amounts of fiber, that's most people don't get enough fiber. It significantly increased the number and the diversity of gut-friendly bacteria after just one week of added fiber. Now, this is important because the friendly gut bacteria metabolize certain types of fiber into a chemical called butyrate, which is a short-chain fatty acid, that friendly gut bacteria, they use that butyrate, enabling them to thrive and crowd out the unfriendly bacteria and potentially other disease-promoting bacteria, yeast, and viruses. It helps to get them out of the intestinal tract. In the words of researcher Dr. Zach Holmes, who conducted the study, butyrate has been shown to improve the gut's resistance to pathogens, lower inflammation, and create happier, healthier cells that line the intestinal tract. So when you eat more fiber, the friendly bacteria take it, they convert it into butyrate, and butyrate improves the health of the gut. He also stated, when your gut bugs or your gut-friendly bacteria are happily munching on, high, on a high-fiber diet, they produce more of the short-chain fatty acids to protect you from diseases of the gut, colorectal cancer, and obesity. And in particular, they produce more of the fatty acid called butyrate, which is fuel for the intestinal cells themselves. Now, butyrate has also been shown to improve the gut's resistance to pathogens, lower inflammation, and create happier, healthier cells lining the human intestinal tract. He went on to explain that the average American adult only consumes 20 to 40 percent of the daily recommended amount of fiber, which is believed to be a root cause behind a lot of common health maladies, including obesity, cardiovascular disease, digestive disorders, and colon cancer, which is the second leading cause of cancer death in North America. So in their experiments with human subjects, they showed that increasing fiber from a variety of sources improved the gut microbiome or the gut microflora, which means that you can choose from a whole wide variety of foods that are high in fiber, whatever ones you like, beans, peas, different fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, any of that combination can get you more fiber. All of that fiber is useful. And I personally also recommend the use of two tablespoons of ground flaxseed to many patients because it contains both cholesterol-lowering fiber and colon-cleaning fiber, and it contains phytonutrients that have been shown to possess important anti-cancer properties. Same with psyllium husk fiber that you see in a product like Metamucil. It's also very high in fiber that helps to lower cholesterol and improve uh, the function of the large intestine. And other, you know, high fiber breakfast cereals that are low in fat and low in sugar that have a lot of fiber and bread products that are sort of made like their whole wheat products or flax breads, those things can give more fiber uh, to your intestinal tract if you consume them more regularly. Some, people's all, some people also show improved gut health and reduced intestinal symptoms or intestinal complaints when they take a daily combination supplement that contains both digestive enzymes and prebiotics. Now, what are prebiotics? Prebiotics uh, include such things as inulin and fructooligosaccharide or FOS, which are types of dietary fiber that the gut-friendly bacteria use to thrive and to generate more health-promoting butyrate. So these recent studies showed that people who routinely eat the least amount of fiber from day to day saw the greatest benefit in their gut microbiome after just one week of adding additional fiber. So if your fiber intake has not been ideal up to now, the good news is that your gut microbiome or your gut microflora and your health status can be greatly improved within one week if you begin eating more fiber-rich foods today. So I've included the references for these studies in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.